there on the halo. I want an offensive player here. Quick, doesn't matter who. All right, you're on D. You're on D, so I need, I need uh, dark shirt here. All right, dark shirt there. All right, and you come on D. You're on D, you don't need a ball. You're on D. All right, now keep it. So, you're going to pass it there. You guys are going that way. All right? So what's your thing? If, if they're going that way, what have you got to do as soon as you pass? Now, if I do this, come with me. Go. Whoops. All right? So you know you've got someone there. So the first thing I want to do is convert. Get back. So I'm sending it there, and I'm on the back. But you've got to pass it. And you guys are advancing it, but you can't dribble it until the front court. Pass it. You're running. Pass it. All right, now you can play. Now, you've got to decide when you go to the ball, all right, and then you go and protect the basket, or you're talking to her saying, ball, 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 I've got basket. The single most important thing in conversion is the basket. People always say, get the ball, get the ball. Well, in this drill, if you get the ball, what are we going to give up? Layup city, right? The single most important thing in our defensive conversion is get someone back deep. All right, so let's, let's have a look at this. Now, before we go, we talk about communication. Don't be that coach that says, right, you've got to talk. And they look at you funny. So you go, oh, you've got to communicate. You've got to enunciate. You got to pr what do you got to say? What do you want them to say? Are you teaching them how to communicate or are you just saying, talk? We talk about talk your task. Talk your task. Simply put, just tell your teammate what you're doing. All right? So if I'm throwing it, what's your name, sorry? Lauro. Lauro. Lauro? Yeah. Yep. All right? Your name? Alex. Alex? If, if Laura's throwing it, what are you doing, Laura? What do we just Get say? Back. Get back. So what are you telling Alex? Yeah, I'm back, back, I'm a basket, right? And then what are, you, what are you doing initially? Yeah, you're trying to get it. Coming, coming, ball. Just, whatever you do, just, just tell them to talk their task. Don't give them fancy words. Don't give them fancy cues. Just say, tell the other person what you're doing. All right? It's a simple way to get that done. All right? So you guys will be next. So when you finish down there, you play the result, then you're off. You guys are up. Ready? Go. Ball starts to lower it. Go. Next. What did Alex say? Nothing. Go. Pretty good. Next. Let's go. Now, again, this isn't about them. It's about, it's about you guys. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time refining the drill. What you have to do is give them some tools. All right? What's your name? Will. Will? Will, your basket until you have to be ball. You got me? Your basket until you have to be ball. Your haul and ass until you can be ball. You with me? So again, just define what you want them to do. Don't complicate it. Very simple. Brother, basket. Until such stage you feel you have to go to the ball. Right? Your only job in life is to sprint your tail to try and get to the ball so he can stay where? Basket. All right? Now, last thing. Play faster. Go. Good. 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 Get it. Keep playing. Stop. Next. So that would be plenty, wouldn't it? That would be pl if we can do that, all of a sudden it's five on five. Why was that better? 
yeah, he got there, but there was genuine communication about what was going on, all right? And so we were comfortable. So all of a sudden, the advantage that the offense had is not such a big advantage. All right? This is where communication is so, so important. Worthwhile communication. Let's go. Next. Now, this is a good example because you've got girls and boys, different age groups, and you've got a couple of good athletes and whatever else. If I'm here, this is the other thing about communication, right? Before I start, what's your name? Caitlin. Caitlin. Like, if I'm looking, I see these two unbelievable athletes here, all right? I'm saying, Caitlin, I'm getting back. You, you, you got to come. If needs be, release me, right? And what I mean by that is I go back. If you realise you're not going to get there and you can keep running and get the basket, say, go, Lana, go. And then I can go to the ball. Now, remember, I'm an elite athlete, so I'll probably be able to do two things really well, all right? She kept a straight face. It's really good. All right? Worthwhile communication. Here we go. Why'd they score? No, no communication. We just went through that whole thing. All right? And it's natural. All right? They're here. They're trying to figure out who the hell I am and what the hell I'm saying. All right? You guys are watching so that, you know, they think, I just don't want to make a mistake, right? But this, if, if you can't talk, and we're not saying that you have to recite, you know, text winners, defensive man-to-man -man principles textbook. Just say what you're doing. Just talk your task. Just get them to do that. Just say, I'm doing this. In practice, if you want to build talk, every time I pass, what do I get the kids to say? It's not a trick question. Pass, catch, dribble, shot. Just get them to talk their task until such stage that it becomes natural. And then, and obviously that's an over the top method. But you see there, we've been going for three minutes, we've given up laughs just because someone won't open their mouth. All right, what I need now is uh, three, uh, three